Thank you, Jesus. Blessed art thou, O Lord. Yes, God. I thought I would give you a little something of the preaching in Ghana. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. I don't know how, how you're going to hear it, but I put my listing on, on loudest volume. But this happened mm -hmm. as we were ministering the word of God. Yes. And the Lord just uh, called them up. And so the people came up to the altar standing, some standing, and then we turned loose. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long we went. So I'm just going to play a little bit. I don't know. Uh, is there any, any yeah. Yeah.
days. Only three days this this meeting in in, in, in Somalia. Just three days. And yet as the witches describe it, there was a mighty fire that was lit. <laughs> I had no idea that three days could turn the whole thing in the spirit <laughs> like that. And then we went back to to another region. And then the pastor, I talked to the pastor, I said, listen, if if you are free out there, you know, you want to come back to Somania, come back to Somania. So I came for one more, one Sunday, two services, Sunday. So we have, we have five, five sessions. I had no idea, you know, the first, the first Sunday, the, the first service. I didn't know. I, I gave my all. Just the first service. <laughs> I gave my whole being, and I said, Lord, how in the world am I going to? to go to the second service. Then the pastor announced, knowing this man, he ain't gonna preach the same thing. He's gonna preach something different. <laughs> so, so, so those of you who wanna stay around, hang around, we're uh -huh. gonna preach something new. <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as he said that, Holy Ghost said, you know, you know what you're gonna bring? As we said, go, go bring it. You remember the covenant I showed you about John Wesley's covenant? Mm -hmm. You, you, you forgot it. You, it. it don't mean anything to you. <laughs> John Wesley, the Lord said, read that and lead them into it. The covenant. Let, let me see if, if, if I have the covenant here because I'm going to do, I did not, I did not even, even look for it. So, but the covenant, boy, oh, yes, go on, yes, go on. <laughs> the covenant is here. The Lord said, just read it. And they invite them to surrender their lives to God. Mm. I am no longer my own, but yours. Mm. Put me to what you will. Rank me with whom you will. Mm. Put me to doing. Put me to suffering. Let me be employed for you or laid aside for you. Exalted for you or brought low for you. Let me be full. Let me be empty. Let me have all things, let me have nothing. Mm -hmm. You don't say that, do you? Mm -hmm. You say, let me have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let me have all things. <laughs> but if you walk with God, you should be willing. You should be willing for whatever He will take you through. Mm -hmm. Not because that's what you need, but that's why to take to accomplish His purposes. Right. Amen. It's not you. It's his glory. Yeah. It's his purpose he's after. He wants to use you as a vessel to accomplish what will bring glory to him. It might not, it might not be what you know what you expect, but it doesn't matter. God wants that. Amen. So God will have that. Amen. He will take you through it so he can accomplish what he wants to do. So let me be full, let me be empty. Let me have all things, let me have nothing. I freely and wholeheartedly yield all things to your pleasure and disposal. And now, glorious and blessed God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, <laughs> you are mine, yes. and I'm yours. So be it. Amen. And the covenant now made on earth. What is the covenant? The words of this of this covenant. Mm -hmm. The word this is the covenant that John Wesley made with God. And the covenant now made on earth, let it be ratified in heaven. Yes. <laughs> let the heavens give their approval for what I'm saying to God that I want him to take my life through. <laughs> You, you are in trouble if we invite God like that. <laughs> yes. But only those who mean business can go that route. Amen. You hear me now? Amen. So that's all I that's all I read. Okay, this was this was was, was it this was the the no this was the second meeting, but but the first morning itself, I gave my all. There was a book of go readish. My Lord, the Holy Ghost. I 
I didn't know where I got strength from. I didn't know where I got voice from. My voice was twice stronger than after preaching in almost an hour and a half, two hours. <laughs> I was wet. Went to the pastor's office, said, bring a change of clothes. I went to my pastor's office and took the, took the shirt off, put a new shirt on, and came back ready for fire. <laughs> boy, oh boy, did we blaze. <laughs> That's all I read. And then we went into intercession. We went into prayer. Lay hands on my, my, I didn't even touch my, my interpreter. I didn't touch him. He was down. Mm -hmm. I didn't touch him. I'm busy. My, 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 my. <laughs> he gone down already. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my God, you know what hit him. But we are in the presence of God. Yes, I don't think I hit yes. you. <laughs> My Lord, we cried out intensely. I was crying for the city. I wasn't crying for church. I was crying for the city. Mm -hmm. I was lifting them up to understand mm -hmm. what it would take to break through in the realm of the spirit. That's what I was doing. So I was showing them intercession, mm -hmm. praying in the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. what they can do. Okay? They, they don't know what, what is going on. I told the pastor, I said, brother, the Holy Ghost has, has revealed that there is a big fire lit in the city, in the realm of the spirit, and it's burning the witches. Mm. And the witches have come here to confess that we have set fire there and they don't like it. So brother, press on with your with yes, your God. with your with your troops. Yes. Mm -hmm. I say press on with lead your forces in the spirit. I said I, I, I sent it to his I said, lead your forces. Lead them together in the spirit. I said, don't give your pulpit to uh, your, your prayer meetings to anybody. Be there. Yes, God. <laughs> mm -hmm. Either you can preach for me, but you, you, you can't take my prayer meeting. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't take my prayer meeting. I will be there because that's where God accomplishes words. Mm -hmm. That's where he does his job. An all-night prayer meeting, mm -hmm. and you're going to miss it? You don't know what you're talking about. You just be a, a church goer. But those who ain't church goers, they delight to be present. Because they know what God does in the soul of, of those who linger in his presence longer. Yes. Long, longer. Linger, not just two hours in church and it's over. What did God do? I don't know. <laughs> but I was in church, it was good. <laughs> Oh, yes, God. I tell you, may the Lord bless us. I, I'm going to read something to you. Let me put this to low volume before. Because if I don't do that, somebody may call me out of the blue. <laughs> I don't want nobody bothering me out of the blue. <laughs> it, might, it might come in the green. But not. <laughs> Ooh, yes, God. I'm going to share something amazing, a testimony. Okay, a testimony out of the meetings in New York. This one, the blue our soul. I'm going to read what actually transpired. Okay, so that you will you have a feel. Of the, of, the, of the prayer meeting, what takes place there. Now, this, this was something amazing. This, uh, this group, this a lady, her husband, and then, and then they are, they are, uh, they, they are, what, how do I call it? The one who leads them, because she's a queen mother. She's a queen mother. Okay, in her in the, uh, in her city, okay, and that's how they call her, the queen mother. Okay, but she also a queen mother in the spirit of witches, oh. in the realm of witches. You know, she also you know, called the queen mother. Hmm. They came on into the meeting, and then you know, uh, and confessed. Her husband, you no, know, in fact. The, the, the one, there's a guy who leads them, like like in Africa, 
the king doesn't go anywhere by, by himself. He has, a, he has somebody who go who accompanies him. He has a spokesman. But this there was, there was a spokesman in the spirit for this for this witch, this mother. Okay? And so he, he does the speaking. So now he talks and introduces. He said, there's a queen mother here, this, 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 this. We met. I said, why are you all here? So we met the tall man. <laughs> oh, Lord, Lord. Jesus must be tall, brother. <laughs> he must be huge in the yeah. spirit. <laughs> he must be huge, terrorizing them. So the tall man with eyes, flames of fire, wearing white, he told us to come here. So they all came. So he said, that's what did he tell you? He said, well, we should come here. Mm -hmm. See, God just told them to come here. But the Lord expects us to have to understand what they need. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me now? Mm -hmm. He expects us to have wisdom. That's why it's important to know the ways of God. Right. Yes. It's important to spend time with Him to know His heart. Mm -hmm. To know if He were here in the flesh, in the flesh like you, what would He do, not do to them? What we tell them? Okay? God ain't said any, anything to us. He said, Go and confess to them. That's it. So they came and then they, they confessed. The Lord said they will speak. Mm -hmm. Alright, so they speak. And so now we rebuke them. Mm -hmm. Say, stop mm -hmm. your wickedness. Mm -hmm. Stop this work of wickedness because you are going straight to hell with this. Mm -hmm. uh, we, didn't, we didn't play church with them. Mm -hmm. Say, this thing is going to land you in hell. You burn in, in hell fire mm -hmm. if you continue with your wickedness and killing people and destroying lives. So you suck blood and all that's all you do, killing people, people's soul. Say, so stop it. You didn't you don't know how to create a human being. So how do you destroy them? <laughs> you know, so after that, after that's about when they had come and confessed, and then when later around the two, three o'clock in the morning or so, for you know, they 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 were allowed to go. The Lord will release them to go. Now, I had no idea. My, you know, my my sister-in-law said, and after around five o'clock in the in, in the morning, so that we're getting ready to close the, the prayer meeting, you know, and I talk to God, thank Him for what has transpired. There was a lot of people that night, you know, on the a lot of them. So we 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 you know we thank the Lord and said we are going to you know in our bed. And my sister-in-law said, Daddy, the queen mother and the husband, and then they said, they are still there. Mm -hmm. Right there, they ain't gone. Well, I said, well, they will go. We, we you know, we finish, we, we rebuke them, and then we, tell, we command them in the name of Jesus. We untie them to go. But when they come in, they are bound. Mm -hmm. When they come in, you can, you can, if you went to a place by mistake, wouldn't you get walk out? <laughs> <laughs> but they can't walk out because they came here arrested by the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yeah. I never seen the Holy Ghost in the operating like that. Oh, Arresting witches. Okay? In, in, the, in the spirit. And binding. and binding them and telling them to come here and they obey. They have to obey the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. They have to obey the Torah, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we, we talk to them. But in, in the spirit, my, my sister-in-law sees them. She sees them all. They say, they are so there. So now, let's go. We pray. We untie them. and say, go. Leave here. You've come here. This is not your house. This is the house of the Lord. Okay? The Lord tells, tells us. It's amazing. The Lord at times will tell us, you know, command them. Let them talk and say why they have come here. For this is not their home. He said, this is the place of the Lord with his children. And that's something. He said, this is where I come and commune with my children. So why have you, you strangers, you are enemies, you've come into my house. So you have to speak. And that's something more, oh, my God. <laughs> but they didn't go. We left, you know, we, 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 I thought, I assumed that they, 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 they would go. So we went and slept the following day. You know, about two, three days later, we, we didn't look at that place. Right in front of my office desk, 
right there. It's a small path, but that's where they are. And they ain't going nowhere. So about, about uh, four or five days later, my sister-in-law said, Daddy, they are, the queen mother is not gone. She's still there. But when they were coming, when first time they were coming, okay, they came, she came with her hands raised up. Okay, and throughout all the time of you no know, you know, confession, her hands were raised up. And when the meeting was over and they ought to be gone, they weren't gone. And my sister-in-law, she said, Daddy, her hands are still up. Mm. Mm. And her husband is, is, is standing in front, of, in front of her. And now, about five days, five or six days later, my sister-in-law says, Daddy, I, I, I'm not just seeing things. They are there. They ain't gone. Mm. So what are you going to do? So I, I, I call my sister. You see, my sister you know, uh, traveled to, uh, to her place, you know, Pittsfield, just for a few days to go and uh, attend to some, you know, some uh, responsibilities. So I said, listen, you know, go to the Lord and find out what is the problem. They are here. They ain't gone since they came. So it's about five, six days they've been in the house. <laughs> mm. <Okay. Wow>. <laughs> so my sister calls me and then the Lord gives a prophecy on the phone. The Lord is speaking. Okay, so I'm going to read what the Lord said about the whole situation. Okay, then I'll read what happened thereafter, after the Lord you know, has spoken to us. Because we have never seen anybody come in there that he ain't going. He's, he's there and he's stuck and he can't go. See, we, we learned a lot of things that the Lord taught us. <laughs> we learned, you see. So this word that was, what was what, what the, what the let, me, let, me, let me put the dates and see the dates. Okay, it was uh, uh, April 10th. Today is what? 13th. Okay. 14th. Uh, 14. That's April 10th, just four days ago, 4 or 5 a.m., 4 or 5 in the morning. Mm -hmm. That's when the word of the Lord came. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then it says, Yes. So when, when, when the Spirit of God is upon my sister, okay, then the Lord tell him, Take the phone and call your brother. So she calls, and the Lord is talking. Yes, it is I, the eternal God, not anyone else. It is I, the ancient of days, the God of Israel, the Lord of hosts, the one who created the heavens and the earth, the I am that I am. All power is mine. No power compares to mine. I see all things everywhere in the world. I created all things in the whole world. I created the whole world and all else in the world. So I control all things. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. I control all things. So I, it says, I created even Satan, but he rebelled against me. Mm -hmm. So I cast him down. And now he wants to use human beings against me. You, you see yes, that? yes. That's the devil's purpose, mm -hmm. to use human beings against God. He says, I made the oceans. I put a boundary between the oceans and the earth. Anytime the Lord comes on the scene, brother, he, he, he calls his names. He, he tells us who he is. Mm -hmm. That you ain't dealing with no other God, it's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's some, some, some things that will make you laugh. <laughs> yeah. The Lord says, have you ever known anybody in the world that is called I am that I am? <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'm the only one that has the name. Right. I am that I am the I am. Then my sister will be doing this. I am the I am. I am the I am that I am. I am the Lord. It's no one else. So you must know, I am that I am. Yeah. I control all things. Yeah. Anytime he comes, he makes sure we know who is in charge. Yes. 
He is the Lord God Almighty. Yes, God. <laughs> he said, I made the oceans. I put a boundary between the oceans and the earth. I am big. All these things on the phone I'm writing. As my sister, the professor, by the way, I'm writing it. I have to write fast, brother. He <laughs> 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 said, I am big. I am huge. I am king over the earth. I rule in your midst. I am king among my people. You have to reveal me to my people on the earth. Hear that? Mm -hmm. Reveal me. So the world can know me. Hear that? Mm -hmm. Reveal me yeah. so the world can know me. Then he said, I have heard all that you have said. Because we were saying all kinds of stuff. What's going on? Have we missed, missed yeah. him? And all this. I said, I've heard all that you guys have said. <laughs> I do hear what you say. My hand is not short that it cannot say. My ears are not deaf that it cannot hear. I have seen all that is going on. Yes, the woman is there indeed in the house. <laughs> so the woman is there in the house. Her hands are up indeed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost said her hands are up. She can't put them down. She said her husband is also there. Now here is the word of God. Command her in my name to bring her hands down. <laughs> she can't put the hands down. The Holy Ghost arrested her. So for almost a week, her hands have been up, mm. standing in our house, in the spirit. Mm. My sister-in-law can see her, and every day, <laughs> every day she said, Daddy, they are, I said, look, they are this, so they said, they are there. <laughs> it's her hands, I said, her hands are still up. <laughs> He says here, command her to bring her hands down, and then she will speak. <laughs> she has something to say, wow. and then they will leave. Wow. <laughs> Ain't that something? You know, we have come, we have come to learn from because there were times you were scared. Now why why he ain't going? <laughs> what are you doing here? How, how can we leave them there and then go sleep? We scared. <laughs> now, would you like to have a witch in your house? No. And now you are sleeping and you're dead? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so her hands have been up like that, frozen. He ain't coming down. The husband is frozen there. He ain't moving. I never seen that. Maybe you've seen some. I've never seen operational power like this by the whole arresting spirits. That's when your eyes are open in the spirit, you can see them. So then, <coughs> now we, we learn that whenever a witch lingers around, whenever they come and they don't leave after they have confessed, is because they still have something they want to say. Mm -hmm. So they ain't, you can you can command them all you want, they ain't going. Mm -hmm. So we've seen about three or four or five times when we commanded and commanded in the name of Jesus, they ain't moving. So now what's going on here? So I call my sister. I call mm -hmm. my sister. Uh, would you go to boss? <laughs> <laughs> would you please you know, call on the Lord and find out? What has happened? Have we missed it? Or uh, there's something we need to know? Then my sister will go up. I, I tell you, that woman is an amazing vessel of God. Mm. Then she would cry to God. He would talk to the Lord and ask him, would you come down and talk to us mm. and reveal what is happening? You know we need to go. Uh, uh, we need to know. They cannot stay there. So there has to be something that you know we must know from you. 
And all of a sudden the Holy Ghost will come up from him. And then you speak. Like, like I have read to you. And the Holy Ghost will say yes. They are there. They have something to say. That's why they cannot go. There are two reasons that they cannot go. Either they have not been loose, because when they come, we call down fire on them. Mm -hmm. We call down fire. Ain't playing church there with witches. <laughs> no. no. We call down fire. I walk up and down in my in my living room. That they are standing there. They, they, no, they see me. My sister in law says, look at how they are looking at you. They, they look at me. <laughs> he said, they're looking at you. And when you go towards them and then you turn around, they look and say, wow. I said, now what did they see? <laughs> okay, so either they, they must be loosed. Because the, the, the Lord taught us, when you call down the fire and you bind them, mm -hmm. and they are frozen. And they are there, and the Holy Spirit has not released them. It's like chains are upon them. Mm -hmm. In the spirit, they've been chained. Mm -hmm. So they, they cannot move. They can't move. They are just frozen there by God's power. That's why we can leave and go and sleep. Mm -hmm. And they are there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Never seen anything about power. God's power, I've never seen anything like this. Right, so two things. <clears throat> Either they have not been released from the chains we put on them so they can go, mm -hmm. or they still have something to say. And as long as they haven't said it, they ain't going. They won't go. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it is so, but they have to say what is on the heart, on, on, on their soul before they can go. Because the, the Holy Spirit wants to, to, to deliver them. Right. I believe God wants to do something you know, for these wicked you know, spirits. Mm -hmm. These that do evil. Okay? Because it's not, it's, not, it's not his will that the wicked should perish. Right. Yeah. But he will do everything to grant them the opportunity to confess. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you something. Now so when the Lord's word came, said, command her in my name to bring her hands down. Command her to bring her hands down, and then she will speak. She has something to say, and then they will leave. <laughs> then I wrote here a note. We followed the Lord's instructions and commanded her to bring her hands down. Her hands had been up from the first day that they came into the meeting. Mm -hmm. And it's been by now almost a week. Can you stand almost a week with your hands up? <laughs> mm -hmm. I tell you, when finally, okay, when when we command that session, uh, after, that's a, what she said in her confession is recorded under the heading, the Queen Mother Speaks. So I'm going to read that. Okay. Now, when my sister-in-law, when I commanded you know, okay, her to bring her hands down, she was still standing there with her hands up about three or four times. Mm -hmm. And I told my sister-in-law, go there. You, you see her, say, I see her. So go there and then help her bring her hands down. So she went and said, Daddy, her hands were heavy. Ooh, been up there heavy. As if exhausted, tired. <laughs> so she helped her. He said, Queen Mother, bring your hands to all my sister in law. She talks soft. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she talks gentle to them. <laughs> he said, Bring it as much. Just bring your hands down. It's all right. Bring your hands down. And then whatever you have to say, the Lord says you, you should speak. So when you speak, free to go. So bring your hands down. So she brought that, the, you know, the hands down, gradually down. Okay, then I said, so is it down? She yeah, that she brought her hands down. And then when she brought her hand down, then we went to the Lord in prayer that she will speak. 
we ask the Lord now. She has brought her hands down. So now the next step is for her to, to, to speak and say what is on her heart before she can go. Now let me read what, what happened, what she said. Okay, so that you understand. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me let me see this. Okay, the Queen Mother speaks. Here. Yeah. Jesus. Says the, the moment she she started to, to speak, said, I ask the Lord that whatever then now this is a witch now. I ask the Lord that whatever I have done, he should forgive me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with a person like this? You're going you to damn hell or what? He <laughs> <laughs> says, since the beginning of my life, I have sucked people's blood and killed them. <laughs> People now speak against me that does a queen mother get involved in such wicked practices? I dreamt that, listen, said, I dreamt one day that if I don't stop and change my life, the years left for me to live will not end well. He talking. <laughs> oh, so those who did the, that kind of work have fled and abandoned the work in our hands. But we too, we are very young in this realm and don't know, you know what, what to do with this you know, uh, business, this witch, witch business. We don't know what to do now. Then he says, I want my sins forgiven. Amen. Mm -mm. mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> he talking. I want my sins forgiven. He says, since we entered this house, pointing to this house, uh, our house up there, up, since we entered this house, I see my whole being has been changed. My being now is different. Ain't that something? Boy, your 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 church goes. <laughs> This is God's power. Yes. Power working in a witch in the spirit. Mm. Transforming that witch in the spirit. Mm. She is not in her body. Mm. She left her body in, in, in Africa. Mm. And then mm. <laughs> to be, see what I'm learning through this. A human being is not physical body. It's more than physical body. The real agent. The Bible does I said, have I not said that you know, you know the body without the spirit is dead? Mm -hmm. The body, Jim said, the body without the spirit is dead. Mm -hmm. So when they leave their bodies, their, the body is lying down there, you know, uh, as if it is dead, waiting for the spirit to come back. Mm -hmm. Then the body will live. So if they linger around for a long time. They can, the body can die. Mm. You hear that? Mm -hmm. The body can die. Then they are lost. They will have to be carried by angels straight to the pit of hell. Mm. Okay. So he says here, since we have entered this house, I see my whole being has been changed. My being is different. I cannot do that kind of work anymore. I have seen that it is evil. The witchcraft work is evil. Yeah. Since I entered this house, I have not felt good in my person. <laughs> I feel my inside is transformed. Mm -hmm. I have given up on that work. Wow. Yeah. That's something. Yeah. I, <laughs> I don't want to do that anymore. My spirit does not agree with the witchcraft work. <laughs> something. She was talking to my soul. I said, my goodness, Lord, what shall we do with this person? Shall we damn her? I was asking the Lord, are we going to damn her or help her? <laughs> oh, my 
my goodness. He says here, my spirit does not agree with the witch for I feel that something has left me and I cannot keep doing this work. Yeah. 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 I was like, I have heard, listen to this, this one, this one was like a bomb to me. I said, she dropped a bomb on my head. <laughs> <laughs> said, I have heard in my soul that my soul is saying I will praise the Lord. <laughs> I said, now, what are you talking, brother? <laughs> this is amazing. This is power, brother. You don't understand. This is real power. Yes. This is God power. That can cause a witch, transform her in the spirit, and cause her to say, I don't want to continue this wickedness. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, he says, then she says something interesting. Listen to this. She said, My mother has been looking for me. Mm -hmm. Because when they are arrested, you can't contact them. When they are out, you know, roaming around, you cannot contact them. You don't know where they are unless you are a witch yourself. Mm. Oh, you, you guys. <laughs> he said, my mother has been has been looking for me because she's not there. She's absent from her body. <coughs> she's not back in Ghana. She is in, in, in New York in my room. <laughs> Arrested by the Holy Ghost. She can't go nowhere, so no one can contact her. Wow. <laughs> You're doing <laughs> Brother, <laughs> Holy Ghost, Jesus. I've learned a lot this, <laughs> this ten months. Oh, my father. He said, my mother has been looking for me. When I began getting involved in the witchcraft business, I was lacking in courage. So my mother sent me to Rosemary. You know who that is? Another big, big, big chef in the witchcraft business. I bought her stories right here in my store. Mm -hmm. Another big, big woman. She's, she, she hires, because she, she, she came, she came just uh, uh, two days before, before we came. She came and sat down, brother, like in the spirit, like some Moses. <laughs> <laughs> He says, I don't care about God. Mm. You see, they were all in the same group. Mm -hmm. And some have been leaving as a result of their encounter with the Holy Ghost in our, in our prayer meeting. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are leaving one by one. And so they have put everything into her hands, that, that, that rosemary. Mm -hmm. They put the, all the witchcraft, she says she, says she wants it. Mm -hmm. So she's taking it, and she's telling us, that listen, I got plenty of money. This business, it gives us money. Mm. <laughs> he said, I don't care. I said, you are going to burn in hell. He said, hell, what is hell? <laughs> I said, you will, you will find out what is hell. He said, I said, you would, when you die, you go straight to the pit of destruction. He said, no, I don't care. He said, this is good money. I have money. I go. He said, look at my He said, when you come to my home, keep talking and boasting. When you come to my home, you see all this guy. I got plenty of all my, all my workers. They bring the money. See, they are witches. Mm. They go and suck blood, and they go and sell it to other witches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are wicked powers oh, that destroy lives. You know, I'm so surprised the church has not zeroed in on this realm of the spirit. Mm. See, it's so strange to me that the Holy Ghost is leading us in there. Because we, we, have, we have sort of completely forgotten about witches as mm. you know, com powers to contend with right. in the gospel. Right. So he said, my mother sent me to Rosemary to help me get strong and courageous in the spirit. 
she prepared some potions, some something that they, they, they mix, you know, they, mm -hmm. they, they mix all kinds of stuff, you know, that, that the witch doctors do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. It's a potion for me to take bath and to drink. And then I became very strong in the spirit and plunged into the witchcraft business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when she's talking, then I asked her, now, you must repent of your wickedness. Do you want to repent? He said, I want God to forgive me. I know I did evil. And I, I don't want to continue. I said, I, 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 I said to her, are you willing to go to church? You know church? He said, yeah, I have heard that there's a church. So when I go back, I'm going to look for church. I said, now, I want you to go to the, no, don't go to any other church. Go look for Church of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. I said, go and look at the Church of Pentecost. He said, it's, it's, the, it's the, uh, the, the key Holy Ghost in our church, even though now, now, now they are dying. But the Church of Pentecost, at least they will pray with you. Mm -hmm. They will pray Holy Ghost prayer. Mm -hmm. I said, go and look for Church of Pentecost. Go and go there. He said, I will. I said, listen, I'm going to pray for you. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I asked God. My heart was worried for Jesus, Jesus. My heart was, I said, God, we cannot damn her soul. She said she, she is asking for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Father, let the blood of Jesus yes. mm -hmm. oh, destroy every work of iniquity mm -hmm. in her soul. Mm -hmm. Lord, let the blood cleanse her. Lord, forgive her. Father, deliver her. Lord, make her soul as white as, as, as snow and give her another chance, Father. Lord, send him to a church of Pentecost where she can get help. Oh, my heart was longing to, as I wish I could have you know, retained her, but she's in the spirit, so <laughs> she has to go back into her body. So after I prayed, I said, listen, one day, he said, I'm coming to Ghana. One day, I'm, I'm, I'll come and look out for you. He says, yeah, he said, please, come. And then when you come, ask me. I know the city, the city, you know, is over there. He said, it's in history. He said, when you come, just ask for the queen mother. He says, I, was, I wasn't a witch when they gave me the title queen mother. She, I was, I was like a, a, a traditional, you know, potion, okay, that represented the people. She was the, like a, a wife, wife of a, uh, yeah, of a chief. Okay. That they gave me the, the, the title of queen mother of that area. Okay. So everybody knows when you come to that that city, ask for the queen mother, and then they will, they will bring you to my house. Mm -hmm. I want to go there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tell you, I, I want to go there, go and see her in, 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 in the flesh. I met her in the spirit, I want to see her in, in the flesh. Go there and, and, and say, introduce myself to her. I am the pastor that talked to you in New York when you came to my house. I, she will remember. She will remember. She will know. <laughs> so, but. I was so overwhelmed Jeez. by the grace of God that I could even pray. This is the first time that I pray for, for <laughs> I pray for her, pray for a, a witch that God will show her mercy. Because she has said she wants to stop. Mm -hmm. She has said she wants God to forgive her sins. Yes, so as a man of God, I'll, I'll pray along those lines mm -hmm. that right. God will deliver her. Yes. Right. God will break the yoke of bondage over her soul. It's a demonic spirit that took over her to lie to her. Yes. You see that? So she can be delivered as long as she wants. And she don't want, she felt changes in her being. Mm -hmm. So she's on her way out. This is the testimony. That's why I said, I must read this to you. Because it is, it is an amazing, mm -hmm. this thing. there were two others. You know, in fact, there are two men, that there are two witches, big, big dudes. That that uh, that that were the head of this witch group. Okay, they are they are some of the first ones. Okay, to to, to say they don't want say they want to serve God. So they want to serve God. Okay, two of them said they the the leaders said they want to serve God, 
And then one went and brought, you know, you know he said, he talked, said, I want my children to serve God. They are all witches. <laughs> 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 My goodness, what a life, which life. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's horrible. When they describe the evil they have done, they know they did evil. They know they did so much evil. Some know what they did was evil in the eyes of God. But they didn't know God. But now, now, you know, so the, 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 the other ones, you know, the one went to the Catholic Church. I said, no, don't go there. Then, then you. <laughs> They came back in the spirit like I said, no, you go Pentecost. Then you say, oh yeah, when well, we want the Catholic Church, so, yo, yo, yo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that, they were doing that. Yeah, it, it's no good. <laughs> but you got to go Pentecost. Because <laughs> 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 that's what they do in Pentecost. They, they clap, they jump, they shout, they dance, they sing unto God. Mm -hmm. So that's why they want to go. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh, my good brother. It is just an amazing. I don't know. I have never been here before. Right. Mm. But it is amazing to see God do this. This is pure power. This yes. is not this, this is this is not some some mind stuff. <clears throat> this is Holy Ghost. Amen. Yeah. Holy Ghost power manifesting the divine power of God mm -hmm. in the realm of the spirit against witches. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, Jesus. My Lord, let me read. Tonight I came to read some things to you. I have always recommended this, but you all don't take it seriously. I know you don't take it seriously. God calling and God at even time. I know you don't take it seriously because it hasn't worked yet. <laughs> Let me read here to you. Okay. How many of you want, you want God to use your life? I mean, you want really to experience the power of God in, in your life? Amen. Yes. I don't think you want to. <laughs> the power is available. It's, it's, it's resident in you. But the work it has to do in you is what is the problem? The power is available. The power has been given to you. It's resident in you in the form of the Holy Ghost. But the work that must precede the manifestation of God's power in you and through you is what is delaying. That's the whole problem. But the Holy Ghost is inside you. He's the source of God's power. But he ain't come there to come and sit down and then just go to church with him. He's come to do a work. Mm -hmm. He's come to do a work in your being. Yes. As you surrender more and more to him. Yes. As you hear, we, 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 you were singing the song, more of God and not yes. less of me. Well, it's not just song. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just song, singing song, then, then you think uh, less, uh, uh, less, of, less of you is left because you sang a song. <laughs> less of you because the Holy Ghost has been deployed to work in your being mm -hmm. so that you less of you will be, will be left the more of God will come on in Amen. Amen. so don't just sing a song and deceive yourself say, because we sang a, a song then yeah less of me is now left <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, dangerous power Ah, God at even died, July 2nd. See, the reason why I can talk about this with confidence, and you cannot yet. You know why? Because you ain't, you ain't done it. You ain't seen it. The words of this book, it don't mean anything to you yet. You just read it and they're gone. I worked with this thing, this book, I've, I, I have put it into practice over 40 years, 40 years. Mm -hmm. And I can testify that this is the work of God. Yeah. This is the work of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And if a man would take this and take his Bible and obey the instructions in this book, you will see that you will meet God. 
Dangerous power. You want power? So it's dangerous power. Do, do, you, do you not see how necessary is your learning the method of spirit attack? There must be a certain root faith in me. A certain root faith. In other words, the root of your faith must be in him. Yes. Deep, like, like, like the root of a tree pierces through the earth and goes down to where the water is. Mm -hmm. The water is in Christ Jesus who dwelleth in you. But your faith must let out a root of confidence in him. Your confidence must be deeply rooted in Christ, yeah. in his being, mm -hmm. so that you are unshakable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't move by what you see. Ah, yeah. yes. Amen. You ain't moved by what them devils do. Right. Amen. Okay? And the power is going to work when your confidence in Christ is deeply rooted. Does Paul not talk about and so that Christ may dwell in you? You know, settle down, rooted. Yes, amen. You must have a root in him. Mm -hmm. amen. And the root is what is going to suck the vine's power. Mm -hmm. You're the root of faith in him. Going to drink in the power oh, into your being. Yes, God. Going to, the, the power, the, 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 the river of life will flow through the, the root into your being. Into your being. So you must have this root faith in him. He says, there must be a certain root faith in me. Or, if not, if not so, you could not trust yourself to perfect surrender to me. And that is the whole problem. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the message of God, that you surrender your bodies. Right? As a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable. Ain't no problem with that. Reasonable act of worship. But this surrender is what he's talking about here. If you don't have a deep root of confidence in him, knowing that he's God, knowing that all things are possible with him, and so you can trust him with your being, if you don't have this deep root in him, you cannot surrender to him. <clears throat> That's the whole problem. You can't surrender to him so he can, he can have access to move through your being. Yes, God. Right? So he says here, there must be a certain root faith in me or you could not trust yourself to perfect surrender to me. But they must come to those who walk all the way with me. Those who just go to church. Oh no. Those who walk. But you want power. Don't you want power? Yeah. You must go all the way with him. Yeah. You want power? You are saying, I want, I want to go all the way so the yes, power can God. be deployed to sustain you. You must make up your mind. Yes, I want. You see, you see, you see for the Lord, you ain't going to have power as long as you're just hanging out there. Just hoping that there will be power coming. <laughs> you must be engaged with him. You must be engaged in communion with him for power to be released into your being. Yes. You must be engaged, fully engaged with the Lord. In communion, <laughs> wanting him, desiring him more than anything else. Then the power will start coming into your being. Yes. Its manifestation will start being released into your being. Or you could not trust yourself to perfect surrender to me. But there must come to those who walk all the way with me a yielding of their will. And lives holy to me. Wow. <clears throat> a yielding of their head. Is that your head? Is that what talk about head? Mm -hmm. Give me your head. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. 
a yielding of their wills, mm. the engine power of the body, of the flesh life. Will. Mm. Your will must be surrendered to him. Mm. And lives holy to me. Or if he ain't so, the greater power, the greater faith that results would be a source of danger. If your wills and your lives are not surrendered to me, and I give you greater faith, because listen to me, the work of God is done through faith. Yes. That's all. Power comes through only one channel, the channel of faith. Your deeply rooted confidence in God is what allows him to let him move through your being. That's all. It's not some magic. It's a life of communion with, with him so that there's a highway made in your being where your will don't kick against God passing through that highway. Your wills don't kick. Your wills just know, all right, God, there's a highway you want to move in? Come on. Move on in the highway and, the, and then disperse your goods. <laughs> move through this highway of faith in my being and then bless the people. Uh, who wants that kind of life? You say you want power, but who wants this kind of surrender? Who wants it? It's available to anyone who wants Who's over will? Let him come and freely take of this living water. Boy. Thank you, Jesus. Says here, or if you don't yield your wills and your life completely to me, the greater faith that will result will be a source of danger. Mm. It will drive you back to the material plane. Oh, <clears throat> mm. That is the reason why many men of God backslide so easily. Mm. When God gives them some anointing, some little drop of anointing, mm. then they start using it any way they want to. Mm. But anointing comes to only honor God. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Anointing is given to you to do what God wants to do. Yes. So he says, if your wills and your life are not yielded to me, you will use the greater faith I'll give to you to do something else mm -hmm. that I didn't intend for you to do. Mm -hmm. You will move in the, in the material plane, prosperity plane. <laughs> oh, you will move in the material plane, material accumulation plane, mm -hmm. money plane. You will use your faith for money instead of using your faith for my glory. Yes, amen. That's why God don't give nothing to the people. That's why he ain't giving nothing to them. Why? Because instead of them yielding their wills to him, they want to keep their will intact. Mm -hmm. They want to control their bodies. Jesus. And then have power to do whatever they want to do. Yes. It ain't going to happen. So don't, 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 don't waste your time. The only time that it will happen is you surrender. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you surrender your bodies. Know you not that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost? Yes. Mm -hmm. If your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, then God must have your body. Yes, yeah. right. For his, for his Holy Ghost to dwell in them. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He says, if I don't control your wills, and then back, but she says, she, 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 wills are controlled through only one channel. Your wills can only be controlled through one channel love. Ah. <laughs> but when you love God, you, you are willing to follow Him. You are willing to do what is this when you, when you love him. So it is love that enables God to take over your will. Yes. Yes. Because you yes. love him. He cannot force himself on you. He can't. Because that is the power he gave you. That is the authority he gave you. The power of choice God gave to us. So he will not violate your will. That's why it's only in love you can walk with God. 
only in love, loving him, you freely go around with him. <laughs> when you love him, you are willing to surrender. Yeah. Nobody forces you. If you love me, keep my commandments. Yes. Yes. If you go to church, keep my commandments. Don't say that. If you love me, if you love me. So if you are going to surrender, it has to be because you love him. Yes, God. Why did Jesus come? He wasn't forced. For God so forced Jesus. <laughs> God so forced Jesus. Hey, Gabriel, let's tie him up and force him to go down. Go die for the wicked man. For God so forced Jesus that he came down. <laughs> for God so loved the world. Amen. So it, it was no big deal to send his son. Love overcame. Any other option that God came, love, love overcame all other options. Mm -hmm. Only love is the channel by which Jesus came. Yes. So through love, he yielded his will. The Father, the, the, he said, I have commandment you not to put down my, my, my life and commandment to take it down. Mm -hmm. No man takes that away from me. Right. Not, not even my father. My father don't take my, my life away from me. I lay down myself. Why? I love the Father. I love to do His will, so I lay it down. He don't force me. But you want to be forced, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Only be not like the horse. Oh, the mule, mule. <laughs> there are so many mules in the house of God. <laughs> he mules and she mules. <laughs> so God has to put bits, bits in our mouth. Oh my goodness. Why don't you simply yield? Because you, you see, when, when you have to be forced, because the love of God inside you is so small mm -hmm. that it has not conquered your will. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. If Lord. they have to force you, it's because there's no love in your heart. My Lord. Mm -hmm. Because when love is poured in your being and you love it, you obey the beloved. Yes. Right. You yield to the one you love. Yes. Right. So it is in the marital union. You can't force your wife to love you. You can't force your husband to love you. Oh, you. Ma, ma, ma. Ma, ma, ma. And some, before, because they can't force, they have devised a way called manipulation. Ayama. They manipulate gold. But that's perversion. You hear me now? That ain't love. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you're insane. My Lord, my Lord. Money if you make money. Oh, he said, if I don't control your lives and your wills, the greater faith that results will be a source of danger. It will drive you back to the material plane in search of money, in search of material accumulation. Instead of the spiritual heights. Mm. Woo! Mm. So the faith I will impart to you must take you to spirit heights. Not material gain. Yeah. Right. Oh my goodness. Then it means it means I cannot get my needs met. It's not so, brother. Right. Yeah. He will take care of you. Whatever yes. you need, yeah. he will give it to you. Yes. But you will not be covetous. Right. Oh my Lord. Listen, for unless your will is wholly mine, you will rely on this new God given power and call into being that which is not for the furtherance of my kingdom. Mm. Isn't that something? Man can, can use God's power to call into being that we God did not intend. Right. Mm -hmm. 
That is the danger that God seeks to guard against in people's lives, in men of God's lives. That you will not rely on the God-given power to, to do stuff that God did not intend. Because if you don't watch, this power will become witchery. Witch power. Are you hear me now? Because once you cross a certain line of desire that is not in line with God's will, you start desiring things that are going to pollute your inner life. Amen. Oh, I tell you. Wow. I don't know what I'm going to tell you, but I'm, I'm telling you some stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you some stuff. Yes, yes. Okay, let me read May 5th. Mm -hmm. May, May 4th, May, May 5th. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, what is that? No, April. Uh, April no, oh, let me see. April 24th, no, let me, let me read May 5th first. Let me read May 5th first. Okay. All right, dangerous channels. We, we first read dangerous power, right? Yes. Okay. Now this is dangerous channels, vessels, okay? Dangerous vessels, dangerous channels says, Savior, let me be a channel for thy mighty power. Wouldn't you like that? Amen. Yes. Oh, you would. I would too. Amen. That's what we all go for. <laughs> we all go for some power to help. Okay, it says here, first, you must be kept by that mighty power. It has to keep you. From doing some stuff that God did not intend for you to do. Amen. It has to keep you from slipping down into darkness. It, got, it has to keep you, preserve you from attacks of the enemy. So that the power first must keep the possessor of the power. It must preserve you, mm -hmm. keep you pure, clean, mm. filled with God's purposes. Not, not perverting the right ways of the law. Right, yes, God. Okay, so he said here, first you must be kept by that mighty power. For it must be a consecrated life to be so used. Look at all men who have exercised God's mighty power. John G. Lake, look at Smith Wilkerson, look at Ora Roberts. Look at uh, people like Kenneth Hagen and others. They knew they are God. Yeah. You see that? Mm -hmm. They had to be clean vessels. Yes. Right. Surrendered to God. Under the control of the Holy Ghost. So when the enemy attacks them, they can go through the attacks of the enemy and still be standing clean and pure. Yes, yes. And yes. uncontaminated by demonic influences. So he says here, for it must be a consecrated life to be so used. Consecrate me now to that service, love, by the power of grace divine. What else? Let me, let my feet something, something. I forgot. <laughs> but. But, but that's why I said, and my will be lost in thine. My will be lost in thine. Draw me nearer, nearer, pressure, Lord. To thy, to thy blessed, you know, uh, uh, wind aside. So, so to, to, to do this work, there's a lot of consecration needed. Certainly, allowing God to set you. Paul, a doulos of God. You know what doulos? That's what Paul the word doulos, the Greek word doulos. A slave. A bond slave of Jesus Christ. A bond slave is a slave who has served the master for so many years and has been given his freedom to go. But then when he looks at the master, 
All these years I served you. You have been good to me. Now you give me my, my liberty. I don't want to go. I want to I stay here and serve you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He's a bond. Then he becomes a bond slave. He's more than a slave. He's gone to a higher realm of servanthood of his own free will. Surrendered his 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 liberty to the master, not being forced now, mm -hmm. but now he's truly yielding mm -hmm. to serve the master. That's how Paul look at himself. I'm a bond slave of Jesus Christ. I have my liberty to go, but no I ain't going. Mm -hmm. I love him. I'm gonna surrender completely to him. So for it must be a consecrated life to be so used. My power passing through wrong channels would work harm. It will destroy. It will not be. I can't do that. I cannot allow that to be. To let my power pass through wrong channels and do harm. Ooh, my goodness. The the alloy, you know alloy? That mm -hmm. like that uh what's the name? Oh uh, like the, the aloe or something like that? Uh, like the metal the metal the, alloy. Yeah, yeah, alloy. yeah. Alloy. Okay. Alloy. Yeah, yeah, the the metal dark part of the metal, mm -hmm. you know, will be scraping into the what into the pipe. Right. Okay. okay, well yeah. So he said the alloy of the channel would poison the spirit okay. flood. See that? Mm -hmm. So that's why I must clean the, the pipe. Mm -hmm. I must clean the pipe. Jesus. I must clean the vessel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I must clean the one I'm going to flow through. Mm -hmm. I don't want any contaminants mm -hmm. in the flow of the river. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, God. You, you, you understand me? Yes, God. Yes, God. Give me strength. Yes. Yes, God. That little guy gonna preach one day. Oh yes. The alloy of the channel would poison the spirit flood, and that's the problem. Mm -hmm. What What is the danger? The self. Right. Mm. The self can be the alloy in the in that channel, that pure channel, the self life, self purposes, mm. you know, self interest. Self-aggrandizement, self-seeking, <laughs> self-love, all kinds of self, 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 self. self. Da! Yes. yes, God. And let Jesus live. Yes. 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 Ooh, Ooh, brother. Mm -hmm. So dangerous channels. I can't use dangerous channels. Mm. I come here April 24. I just write May, May 5, April 24. Lord! Use me, I beseech thee. <laughs> you want to be used. Didn't you say you want God to use him? Yes. yes. Oh, you said that? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I will use you as you go to church and sing in the choir. <laughs> and then offer me some big offering. <laughs> ah, yeah, that, that is the ultimate. How do I just go and get the mom in the choir. Lord, I'm in the choir now. So use me. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. I will use you as you eliminate self Ooh. and offer me a consecrated personality. The, well, the goldsmith, you don't just take any, any gold from the dirt and you start beating it on the anvil. The ghost may take the gold bar, put it in the iron, in the in the hot oven, mm -hmm. hot stuff, fire. Yes, God. Let it melt all the all the the, the dirt of the gold, mm -hmm. and then he can get the metal, the one that he really likes. Mm -hmm. So it is after the fire is applied to the gold, then the the ghost may get happy. Yeah, now I got me the gold, and I'm gonna beat. Oh. Now you know the end. I'm gonna put you on the anvil. That stuff them knock your head off. <laughs> knock your head off. Knock your unless until you lose your own ship. You take yeah, you take the ship that the goldsmith wants to put on you. Mm -hmm. uh, all the draws must go, brother. Mm -hmm. 
I say all the impurities in your personality yes. must go. Yes. Yes. Amen. Your language must be devoid of, of perversion. Yes. yes. I will use you as you eliminate self and offer me a consecrated personality made in my image. Ah. Hey. There can be no limit to my power to use one such person. And there should be no limit to, to the power I can, I can put in that person who has consecrated himself to me. Nothing is impossible to me. My love is limitless. My tenderness is limitless. My understanding is limitless. Every attribute of the Godhead is complete, unfathomable, inexhaustible, in a way you can only dimly see. Oh my goodness. Inexhaustible. So why, why, why are you not being used in that way? Because you, you don't want to consecrate yourself to him. That's the only thing he's waiting for. Let me purge you. Let me cleanse you. Wait upon you. You don't get purged because you go to church. Right. You get purged because you stay in his presence. Yes. Yes. You get purged because you give him time in communion with him. Yes. You don't take you don't take five minutes. Says, yeah, I, I give time to God. Five minutes. Stop it. Yes. Start being serious about God. Yes. Mm -hmm. May the Lord God help us. Yes. May the Lord God help us. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say no more. It's eleven o'clock. But I pray. Don't 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 take these times for granted. Right. Okay, don't take it because the times are coming that you, you wish oh, I would talk about was even coming here for one hour for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gonna get the one hour brother, I'll be going somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So don't take it grow, let God do the work he, he can do so he can start using you. Yes. Yes. He, he can start having vessels that will be honoring him. Yes. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. There are people that are hungry for this kind of work. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you get it for free. <laughs> uh, Lord, have mercy upon us. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for the word of God. I thank you for your people. I thank you for those on GoToMeeting.com. I thank you for everyone that has tuned in, oh Lord, my King. That their hearts will be warmed and that, Father, they will realize that, Lord, it is not what they must do. It is what God has done in Christ. That they should allow the Holy Ghost to work in their being. Yes. What, what God has done in Christ must be wrought in them also. Yeah. Must be worked by the Holy Ghost in their being. Yeah. So that they are within will be filled with the being of God. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, Father, I thank you that your standard has not changed. Yes, God. You have never hey, changed it. But Father God, men may change standards. Mm -hmm. Men may, may, may replace your word with all kinds of uh, fake news. <laughs> but it doesn't give good news to anybody. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord, yes. to be faithful. Yes. Help us, Lord, to stay connected with you. For in thee, O oh Lord, do we have faith. Yes. In thee, O oh Lord, ah, we put Jesus. our trust. Mm -hmm. In thee, O oh Lord, not in anything that, Lord God, we have done, but in your righteousness. So, Lord, I thank you that it shall be so. You will help your people. You will, you, you will lead them in the way they should go. And you will bring them into deep consecrations. Thank you, Father, for the miracle working power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. That will work hey. in the being of your people to prepare them to be the, the dwelling place of God. This we ask in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. Yes.